Assalamualaikum dear friends. Today I am here to explain and telling that find a 95 confidence interval for the mean difference mu1 minus mu2 in z score. You can say that normal distribution. In that problem, I will discuss very conceptually, which nobody tells you about that. So must watch this lecture completely till end if you want to get more concepts. And I, I have already uploaded videos in which I have told secrets and tricks to find the confidence interval. So must watch, must watch also that videos which are in description below the video. So must watch that video. So let's start the lecture. Here is a given problem here. A random sample of size n must be equal to 100, yielding the sample value x1 bar is equal to 509, s1 scale is equal to 950. A random sample of n2 is equal to 100 from another population yielded x2 bar is equal to 447, s2 scale is given. But I have to find that, find a 95% confidence level for mean difference mu1 minus mu2 very very easy i will discuss that topic very very easily when we uh, given that in that given here n1 is equal to 100 next x1 bar is equal to 509 next s1 scale is equal to 950 next Next year, in second sample, n2 is equal to 100, which are similar to n1. Next, another population, x2 square, uh, sorry, x2 bar is equal to double four seven. And next, x2 square is given here is equal to 876. Very, very easy. First of all, I told you that. I have already discussed secret entry, which are three. In that, if you know that, in second case, I have already already secret entry and cases. In second case, already know that when sigma or sigma square not given, must remember that when sigma or sigma square not given. In that question sigma or sigma square you can say that sigma 1 square or sigma 2 square are not given but in here we check that we check that sample size n1 n2 is greater than equal to 30 second case is that when sigma 1 sigma square not given not mentioned then we check sample sizes n1 and 2 which will be greater than 30 but in here this are 100 shows that these are greater than 230 as exactly so we will use so we will use a formula mu1 minus mu2 is equal to x1 bar minus x2 bar plus minus z alpha by 2 square root of x1 square divided by n1 plus x2 square divided by n2. I hope that you have clear concepts in that. Now, next point. x1 square, x2 square are already given. x1 square, x2 square already given. And we have to be a uh, But in header, z alpha by 2, you have to calculate z alpha by w then putting the values then question will be wider first of all calculating uh, z alpha by 2 now i'm calculating here z alpha by 2 z alpha by 2 i am calculating very very simple step put 1 minus alpha which is level of confidence that's 1 minus alpha is level of confidence there is given that 95 percent we put that 1 minus alpha is equal to 0 0.95 because we know that 95% we have 95 divided by 100 we got it 0 0.95 so we put level of confidence equal to 0 0.95 next I'm solving that here 1 that is plus but in left side will be minus 0 0.95 is equal to that is minus, then right side will be 
प्लस अल्फा सोल्डिंग है वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव वी गेट इट हेयर जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव इक्वल टू जीरो 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 पॉइंट जीरो फाइव इक्वल टू दैट इज़ द वैल्यू ऑफ अल्फा बट हेयर नेशन इज़ हेयर अल्फा बाय टू यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट अल्फा बाय टू फॉर दैट एंड सिंपल वी विल डिवाइड दैट ब Two because we want alpha by two. Next, zero point zero five divided by two. Zero point zero five divided by two. We get the answer alpha by two is equal to zero point zero two five. So we get that the main point alpha by two is equal to zero point zero two five. Now move to the main quarter point, which is the table. So that table I have made, I have made just an example. That book, uh, Sheer Muhammad Choudhary book, that page number part part two, page number five forty five. That table we will use in here in next problem. Areas for standard normal distribution. So that table we have that is zero point zero plus one. That values. Now main point must remember them. Important not. Important not which nobody tells you about that. Must remember that 0.5 we will minus alpha for that to find the alpha. Must remember that we will 0.5 minus alpha to get the alpha. But for 0.5 minus alpha by two to get the value of Zero power two must remember that. And what are these zero point five? Very very easy. You know that that is the shape of normal distribution minus twenty two plus twenty. Already know that. And next in here is that you know that that total area is one. You already know that that total area under normal curve is one. That portion is zero point five, and that portion is zero point five. You know that. 0.5 plus 0.5 is equal to 1. I hope that you have cleared the concept in that. I'm now moving the next point, main point. You have to calculate z alpha by 2. So very simple, 0.5 minus alpha by 2. We get the value alpha by 2, 0.025. We put the value in here, 0.025 is equal to. Uh, we have to calculate 0.5. By zero point five minus zero point zero two five zero point five minus zero point zero two five. We get that value here zero point four seven five. So in that, after that, after that, we wash, we wash the table. We wash the after that, we wash the table. We wash the table. Must remember that in here table is here. Areas for standard normal distribution we will use in here. Dash value zero point four five. So uh, we will wash that video where is available in table. But that value in here is zero point seven five is available in here. We put the edges. These are dash dash. These are the edges of the table. Edges of table is here. 1.92, 1.926. So that value will be z alpha by 2. We get here is 1.96. I hope that you clear that. We see what the value in here, and value we get 1.96. Next point. Now putting the value so we have calculated z alpha by 2 is equal to 0.1.96. 1. 96. Now move to the next point. Just put that values in here. Next point. Now moving the next point and avoiding that the question. Now moving the next point in here. We get that value here. X1 bar. Putting the values. X1 bar is value here. 509 minus X2 bar. X2 bar is double four seven. Plus minus as it is 
real power tool that is 1.96 next square root of s square 950 divided by n1 uh, n1 is here 100 plus s2 square s2 square is here 876 876 divided by n2 n2 is given here 100 now I'm solving that here 509 minus double board 7 509 minus double board 7 double board 7 we get that value 62 we get that value here 62 plus minus 1.96 as it is next we put a solving that here uh, square root will be as it is and 100 because LCM is same 100 100 so 100 will be same next 950 plus 876 next point 62 plus minus 1.96 square root of divided by 100 next 950 plus 876 950 plus 876 876 we get that value here 1826 next point very simple next 62 plus minus 1.96 and next will be here 1826 divided by 100 1826 divided by 100 we get that value uh, 18.26 then taking the square root then taking the square root of the answer we get the value 4.273 4.273 so sorry that we get the value here next point 62 plus minus multiply together 4.273 multiply by 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1.96 we get that very here 8.375 so that is the we can say that mu1 minus mu2 so we get the we have to calculate uh, mu1 minus mu2 we have calculated mu1 minus mu2 so I hope that so I hope that you have clear conception that thanks for watching the video if you like this video then tell me must subscribe to my youtube channel and must press bell icon button for gain notification of my new lecture goodbye